Welcome to the Jen Hayward Show. Today's show is brought to you by Bouquet Plaisir and Sensual Intelligence. Wow, chocolate cupcakes and eco-friendly sex toys. Now that's a hot Friday night. I'd like to welcome Miriam from Bouquet Plaster to the Jen Hayward Show. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. I don't actually have a studio audience. Sorry about that. But welcome, Miriam. Thank you for having me here. Actually, it's uh, Bouquet Plaisir. Not Plaisir? Plaisir. 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 That sounds uh, not English, actually. Well, it's French. Oh. I'm from Saskatchewan, so we don't like speak French and stuff. But hey, Bouquet is English, right? Well, anyway, welcome to the Jen Hayward Show. Thank you so much for coming. Tell us about your business. Well, Bouquet Plaisir started three months ago, and uh, we make edible bouquets, uh, candies, uh, fruits, vegetables, and cupcakes. Mm -hmm. um, the only challenge is that some people say they're too pretty to break up and eat. Uh, you can taste the prettiness. We make uh, fruit bouquets too. Uh, more information can be found on our website. Is the segment over? It's getting awkward. vote? Isn't that ridiculous? Am I right, ladies? Hey, Kyle. Thanks for coming in for the audition of the program. Um, no worries. I'm Kyle. Just uh, wondering uh, what type of stuff we're going to be doing for the audition. Uh, well, um, all you have to do is really give an insult. It's called comics doing warm fuzzies. I'm good at that. Good. Um, mm -hmm. But I need to see you without your shirt. Has every other person that's been here been doing that, or is it well, just... Well, not really. You're the first one I've wanted. Like, do you mind? Do you mind? I just... Is, I, have I, a I thing, really don't think it, this is... I just have, some... like, a young man kind of thing. Like, I like it when they bring up... Is this professional right now? And my maternal instinct. You know, um, like, I don't know if I want to adopt you or have sex with you. a little bit weird. But <laughs> it's... Yes. Are you okay? Um, um, no, it's, it's good. It's, you're, you're a little whiter than I would have expected, but it's, it is spring. Uh, no, I, yeah, I just really if wanted I to come in. If get the part, you can keep on doing that, but... Okay, I just really, what I want to do is, like, I just need uh, visualization. I'm married, so I never cheat. Like, uh -huh. I never, ever straight from my husband. Course, yeah. Like, I love him and all that stuff. But, uh, you know, like, sometimes, you know, I use central intelligence uh, products, Great and so much. I need some wank bank materials. So uh, oh, okay. that's what you provided. Uh, so thank you. You have the part. Awesome. I'm really excited thank for you, you to insult me. I think it's going to be great. Okay. Very fantastic. You can, no, no, keep it. Keep it. Okay. Yep. Okay. Thank that's, you. Yeah, all right. Today's highlighted charity are food banks. Every city has one. They need food. People need food. You don't have food, you go there and you get some. Uh, so I want everyone to get together uh, right now, anyone who's watching the show, to go to their cupboard right now and grab some food for their local food bank. Doesn't matter where you live, there's one. I'll wait. Go. Go. Okay, now come back. If I see canned peas in your hand, I'm going to be so upset with you, viewer, because nobody likes canned peas. I don't even know why you have canned peas in your cupboard. Nobody likes them. You probably bought them for a recipe or something, right? Right. And then for shepherd's pie, and you didn't make it because you were lazy and you got McDonald's. But now you have these canned peas sitting around. So you go to give to the food bank, and you look, what am I not going to eat? What am I too good for? But clearly someone who's less fortunate is going to not care about eating canned peas. You know what? Just because someone's finding experience financial hardship, just because someone's homeless, doesn't mean they want to eat canned peas. It's gross, they're smelly, and it needs to be stopped. So if you want to do your part, you're going to go back to your cupboard. You're going to go look for some pasta, some stew, uh, some anything really, but 
canned peas. You're going to see if they take fresh veggies. Yeah. Poor people like to also be healthy. They don't want your canned peas. So you're going to go get them, right? And you're going to bring them down. You're going to tell everyone else to do this. Because while we have to wait for the systemic patriarchy to be gone before we can actually solve world hunger, until then, there are people right now who want to eat, but they don't want to eat canned peas. Please give generously. Jen Hayward smells like old people bang. Terribly. Welcome back to the Jen Hayward Show. Uh, we're on my favorite segment where I give bad advice. There's lots of people out there giving good advice, but only I have the dedication to give you the wrong advice. Uh, so people from all over the world have been sending us in questions, and I have a few for us today. Uh, so let me, let me get our questions. I'm very excited with our professional paper. What do you do when a non-parent gives you parenting advice? I think that's a really good question. Um, I'm assuming if they're giving you bad advice or if they're giving you good advice, uh, that you are a bad parent. I think that's where we need to start with this. With this, So you're probably getting the advice that you need. Um, but I think really what you need to do is not be friends with this person anymore. Like complete freeze, block them. I don't care if they're your sister. I don't care. Uh, block them out. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, uh, Twitter, although, or not Twitter, uh, Tinder, which would be weird to have your friend and sister on Twitter, whatever. Uh, I don't know all the acronyms. My point is, is that if you want to take this seriously and you don't want advice from people who aren't parents, I think you need to get rid of other people in your life and just become a hermit. So there you go, there's your bad advice for today. All right, we'll see how the next one goes. We got another question. We got another question, folks. I can feel your excitement, I can. Oh, this one. My girlfriend thinks I'm an alcoholic. What do I do? Um, well, I guess, first of all, it just depends what you think. Uh, why would you care what your girlfriend thinks? Um, if you don't think you have a problem, then probably you don't. Uh, it sounds to me like you actually haven't drank enough uh, because uh, really you don't want to be that guy at an AA meeting who's like, yeah, my girlfriend asked me to stop and I stopped, right? Like that's boring. No one wants to be that guy. You want to be the guy who's like, I drove drunk and I killed 18 people. Like that's the kind of alcoholic you want to be. You want like good ass stories in prison. Uh, so I would suggest that you keep on drinking um, and uh, tell your girlfriend uh, to get with the program. Literally, it's called al -Anon. All right. Okay, I have time for one more question, so let's go. Very excited. Hmm. How did you get people to send you questions when the show hasn't even aired yet? Jen. Well, this seems really specific. Like, this seems like literally it came from my cameraman. Um, and so what I can tell you is shut up. Uh, really, uh, it doesn't matter. These were real questions from real people. And uh, your job is really just to make me look good. Like your job is literally staring at my breasts for the entire show. So I think you have the best job in the world. Uh, so for future, of course, people will be sending them on Twitter and things like that. And really, if you want your question answered, dear viewer, uh, put it underneath. Um, because clearly uh, the cameraman is going to keep sending me smart ass questions. Uh, that's okay. He's pretty cute. Uh, so that's really it for bad advice. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you don't take any of it. Uh, but if you do, uh, there's probably some legal disclaimer at the end of this show. Uh, so thanks and stay tuned for more. Well, thanks, guys. That's the end of our show. Uh, I want to end with some lessons learned from today so you can take some stuff home with you. Number one, chocolate is awesome. Number two, my daughter is awesome. Three, Cal Pooler is awesome. And four, can peas suck? So good night, kids. And remember, if you're giving to Free Cycle, please give generously, but think first because nobody wants your half-eaten candy cane. Also floss. <laughs>